Good afternoon class, this is El Maestro. Again, welcome to my channel. Um, Naginaot na naamo sa maayong panglawas this time. And I'm stress-free despite sa mga naitabo. Okay? So by this time, my dear students, we will have factoring general quadratic trinomials. Okay? So your prior knowledge with factoring will be a big help with this. Okay? So, kailangan yung mga factoring sa perfect square trinomial, um, difference of two squares, okay? Um, and lahat ng factoring na na-discuss natin, okay? Um, all those knowledge, okay, is needed gihapon dere, okay? Sort of, okay, somehow. Okay, so if medyo, again, kung nakalimutan nyo na yun, my dear students, you can have it, uh, you can review that one, Okay? Anyway, nasa channel, nasa YouTube ko lang. Yeah, you can check it out for those hindi pa nakapanood ng uh, iba't ibang topic no, regarding factoring a polynomials. Okay? So, let's proceed. Okay, so we'll have the factoring general quadratic trinomials. Class, compared to what had we discussed in previous videos, okay, especially the factoring a perfect square trinomial, meron siyang magandang pattern na sinusunod natin on how to factor that certain quadratic equation. In factoring general quadratic trinomials, maybe some of the books, modules, meron silang ini-introduce the different kind of ways on how to factor this quadratic. But in this video, I will just teach you one, okay? So in your book, in your module, maybe they, they introduce different way sa nakita nyo ngayon sa video ko, but it applies to all. This video applies to different kind of quadratic trinomials. Okay? So, pwede nyo gamitin to, okay, para makuha nyo lang yung quadratic factors or the factor of that trinomial. Okay? And I call this trial and error method. Okay? So, kahit, kahit any trinomial class na quadratic, you can, you can use this one. Okay? This is the good thing of this kind of uh, method, no? The trial and error. So, wala talaga siyang specific ka nang mag, na specific na magkakasunod-sunod na, na steps, okay? Since from the word it's a trial and error, so we will try different ways, okay? So, trial and error, magkamali man, then you try another one, until such, dumating tayo sa exact and correct factors, okay? Ganyan naman talaga minsan class, okay? Nagkakamali rin tayo, Okay? So, in this trial and error, very common lang talaga sa gagawin natin this time is to find the factors of the first and the last term. Okay? First and the last or the third term. Kasi trinomials, tatlong term. So, the last term will be the third term. Okay? So, we can further understand this one class. Okay? Since sabi ko nga, walang pattern-pattern just like yung ginawa natin before. So, in this case, Mas ma mas maintindihan natin to when when we will apply this one into an example. Okay, we'll have m squared plus 5m plus 6. Okay? So as as further na dinidiscuss ko to class, may mga cases na pwede nating babantayan. Okay? Let's try to see ano 'yon. So, sabi nga niya, okay? Sabi nga, you have to factor find the factors of the first and the last term. So, I made a table para masan ay mas plus star. Okay? So, you write down the first term. The first term is m squared. Okay? So, you find the factor of m squared. Anong factor na m squared? m times m. Is there any factors of m squared? Meron pa ba? So, wala na. So, m times m lang. So, then, you have the third term or the last term factors. Ano yung last term? 6. Okay? So, never mind muna, class. Later na natin i-mamind yung middle term na 5M. Dito muna tayo sa factors sa first and the last term. So, what are the factors of 6? So, we have 6 times 1. Diba? 6 times 1, that is equal to 6. So, factor yan ng 6. Ano pa? Meron ding 3 times 2. 3 times 2 is... 6. So, you write down as many factors as you can. Okay? So, in this case, this is the only factors meron yung 6 natin. 
So if you can still find another factor of 6, then you can write it down. Okay? So with this video, 3 times 2, that would be the last factor ng ating 6. So what's next? Anong next nating gagawin? Remember, pag na naisulat mo na lahat ng mga posibleng factors ng first and the last term, you write a open and close parenthesis. Dalawa. Okay? Sulat mo kaagad sa papel. Okay? You write down these two. Because, yung gagawin nating class, these factors, m times m, okay, factors of the first term, ilalagay natin dyan. Okay? So, you write down those two factors. Okay? So, that is m times m. Okay? So, next. Dito na naman tayo sa ating factors ng last term. Plus, there are two factors. ba? Sabi ko nga, this is trial and error. So, since trial and error siya, you have to choose one. Okay? Pili, pili ka muna ng isa class. Okay? So, it's up to you kung anong pipiliin mo. So, in this case, for this video, let's say I'll choose six and one. Okay? Six and one muna yung pipiliin ko. Let's, let's see if, if we will get the right factors. Then, next, kailangan natin ng sign sa gitna in between those factors. So, tingnan natin yung given class. You look, okay, sorry. If you, if you notice class, okay, 6 and 1, pwede yung balik ta rin. Sabi ko nga, kasi trial and error. So, meaning, 6 and 1, pwede din natin gawing 1 and 6. Now, it does not matter because trial and error to. Okay? Baka si sir, saan, saan dapat si 6? Saan dapat si, si 1? So, does not matter class. Later on, kasi i-verify natin if tama yung position ng pagkalagay natin ng numbers. Okay? So, next is, you have to put sign in between sa factors. So, tingnan nyo yung given natin. Tingnan mo yung last, sa, yung sign ng last term. The sign of the last term is positive. Okay? If the sign of the last term is positive, you look at the sign of the middle term. What's the sign sa middle term? Positive din. If that's the case, then all of the sign na meron yan sa factors natin are all positive. Okay? Automatic yan. If the last term sa given is positive and the sign sa middle term is positive, automatic lahat ng sign sa factors natin, okay? Positive lahat. Okay? So, meron na tayong factors class. So, meron na tayong factor m plus 1 and m plus 6. So, i-verify natin if tama yung factors na ginawa natin, yung positioning natin. So, paano natin i-verify yan? Okay? So, gagawin natin, we have to check the middle term. Okay? So, check natin yung middle term. How? First is, you have to multiply the inner terms. Multiply the inner terms yung sa ilalim. Okay? Inner na mga, sa foil natin ba? Okay? So, inner terms. Okay, so that is 1 times m, that is m. Right? 1 times m, that is equal to m. Next, you have to multiply the outer terms. Ito na naman, yung mga nasa labas. So, m times 6 is 6m. So, next is, you have to add the results. Okay? So, you add, you add this one. M times 6M. Always remember class, pag may variable at walang coefficient na nakikita, walang katabi, that is automatic 1. Okay? So, meaning that is 1M. So, 1M plus 6M, that is equal to 7M. So, what's next? Iti-check na natin if this result, is equal to the middle term na nasa given natin. Tingnan natin, class. Okay. 7M yung result natin, pero yung middle term na given is 5M. Meaning, this factor na ginawa natin is not the correct factor. Dapat kasi, pag na-add natin yan, is the same sa middle term natin. But since hindi, mali yung presumption natin. Mali yung ating trial and error. Sabi ko nga, trial and error. So, we can have it another factor kasi meron pa namang 3, 2 class. Tapos na natin yung 6, 1 ginamit. Okay? So, we can use 3, 2. Okay? Trial and error nga. So, lagay natin 
dyan sa bago nating trial and error. Again, if you will assert, pwede magkabaliktad. Pwedeng magkabaliktad class since this is trial and error. Okay? So, check the middle term. The same yung gagawin natin, ha? you check the middle term. So, multiply the inner terms 3 times m. That is 3m. Next, multiply the outer term. That is 2m. Okay? Then, add the results. 3m plus 2m, that is equal to 5m. Then, you check, you verify if it is the same with the middle term. Tama na siya, class. Okay, normally, class, sa trial and error, tingnan nyo kung asa siya, ano yung mga factors na if you add them or if you subtract them, the result will be closer to the middle term. No, Parang tingnan nyo lang, um, i-feel nyo lang, kumbaga, sabi nga, trial and error. So, in this case, this is now the correct factor of your quadratic trinomial. Okay? So, therefore, the factors of m squared plus 5m plus 6 are m plus 3, m plus 2. Okay, so, this is it, class, no? Ito na yung sagot. This is now the factors. So, we can check, class, you can check your answer if tama yung factor natin. Okay? So, we write it down. Since na-solve na natin, sabi nga, m squared plus m, no, m squared plus 5, m plus 6, equal to, the, ang factor niya is m plus 1, m plus 3, okay, parenthesis, m plus 2. So, to check, you write down the factors and you apply the distributive property or yung FOIL method, okay? To check and to verify if you got the correct factors. So, M times M, FOIL, that is M squared. Next, M times 2, that is plus 2M. 3 times M, that is 3M. And last, positive 3 times positive 2, that is equal to 6. Okay, then you add the like terms. That is 2m plus 3m, that is equal to 5m. So, you check now the results of FOIL, sa so checking if the same ba dun sa given. So, if you see the same, so meaning tama yung factor or factors na ginawa natin. So, that is how you solve quadratic trinomials using trial and error method. Okay? So, we'll have, okay, we'll have another example class. So, let's take it here. 6R squared minus 19R plus 15. Again, anong gagawin natin? You have to write down the factors of the first term. So, what's the first term? 6R squared. So, the factor of 6R squared, unahin natin yung variable. So, you have R times R. Kanina class, walang coefficient yung first term mo. This time, meron 6. So, you find the factors of 6. So, you have 6 times 1. Another factor of 6, 2 times 3. Again, all the possible factors na pwede or na alam nyo, isulat nyo class. Kasi lahat yan, itatry natin. Trial and error nga, di ba? Next, factor sa last term. Ano yung factor sa last term? You have 15 times 1 and 3 times 5. Okay? So, meron na tayong factors. So, after you write down the possible factors, again, the next thing to do is, you write down the close and open parenthesis, kung saan ilalagay natin yung factors natin. Okay? So, so first factors, sa so first term, meron tayong dalawa. And syempre, don't forget the variable class. Okay? Itatabi mo yan or isasama mo yung variable. So, ika nga natin, this is trial and error, so it's up to you class, anong factors ang uni, una mong ga, gagamitin. So, in this case, let me choose 6 and 1. Okay? So, if you pick 2 and 3 class, walang problema yan. Kasi later on, i-verify natin yan if tama. Okay? So, in this case, in this video, I'll choose 6 and 1. So, I write down 6 with R. 
Okay, sabi ko nga, huwag mong kalimutan si variable and R. Sir, nawala si 1. Bakit nasaan si 1? Okay, so always remember, pag walang 1 or pag 1 lang, that is understood class na may 1 yan. Okay? So, hindi mo na ilalagay 1R. Okay? That is just R. Kasi may 1 yan. Automatic, may 1 yan. Pero kung 1 lang, walang variable, isusulat mo yung 1. Okay? So, dito na tayo sa last term. So, you have, again, two factors. So, in this case, I'll choose 3 and 5. Okay? Again, if you choose 15 and 1, walang problema yan. So, I write down 3, then... 5. So, after this, kailangan natin ng sign in between these factors. Then, you go back to your given and look at the last term, sign, positive. After nakita mong positive, tingnan mo ang third or the middle term, negative. If kanina class, if you see kanina, last term is positive and the middle term is positive, all the signs are positive sa in between ng mga factors natin. But in this case, if you notice, okay, if you notice class, balikan ko, positive yung last, then negative yung gitna, automatic lahat yan, negative. Okay? Automatic class, wala nang maraming sat-sat. Negative lahat yan. Okay? Pag ang last is neg positive and the middle is negative. So, we have to verify now the middle term. So, check the middle term. Okay, multiply the inner terms. So, that is negative 3 times R. That is negative 3 R. Next, <clears throat> multiply the outer terms. This one. So, that is 6 R times negative 5. That is negative 30 R. So, you add the result. So, that is negative R plus negative 30 R. So, the result is negative 33R. So, you check. Tingnan mo. If the same ba siya sa middle term natin. If nakita nyo, that is 33 yung result natin, pero yung middle term sa given is negative 19. So, hindi. So, meaning, this assumption natin is, again, wrong. So, wag kayong, um, do, um, I mean, wag kayong mawala ng pag-asa. Okay? Kasi trial and error nga. Marami pa tayong factors na pwedeng itry. Okay? So, since itry natin, balik tayo sa umpisa. This time, gagamitin ko class is 2 and 3. Di ba kanina I use 6 and 1? This time I use 2 and 3. So, I write down 2 and 3R. 2R and 3R. And I'll stick to 3 and 5. Okay? I'll stick to 3 and 5. Again, you can use 15 and 1. Okay? But this video, I'll stick to 3 and 5. Tingnan ko muna. Kasi trial and error nga, di ba? So, 3 and 5. Again, the sign, positive and negative. So, automatic, negative lahat yan. So, check the middle term. So, multiply the inner terms. <clears throat> so, that is negative 9R. Multiply the outer terms. 2R times negative 5, that is negative 10R. Then you add the results. So, anong result niyan? Negative 9R plus negative 10R. Negative 9R plus negative 10R. That is negative 19R. So, you check negative 19. Ayun, swap. The same, nakuha na natin ngayon. So, therefore, this factor na ginawa natin, the factors of 6R squared minus 19R plus 15, the factors are 2R minus 3 times 3R minus 5. So, you write down doon sa given mo. So, the factor of 6R squared minus 19R plus 15 is equal to 2R minus 3, close and open parenthesis, times the 3R minus 5. Okay? So, <clears throat> let's have an example more. Okay, class, let's have another example. Okay, so, please take note of the cases, class, ha? especially the signs. Okay, signs ng mga, um, ng 
trinomials. Okay? So, this time we have n squared minus n minus 20. So, again, you do the same procedure class. Trust me, if you will do this, you will get the right answer. Okay? So, factors of the first factor. Okay? n squared. So, you have n times n. Next, write down all the factors of the last term or the third term that is 20. So, you have 20 times 1. You have 5 times 4 and you have 10 times 2. Again, you write down kung saan natin nilalagay yung factors natin. Okay? So, please bear with my Tagalog class. Okay? I'm, I am not a native Tagalog speaker. Okay? <laughs> okay. Bisaya man tagamay. Okay. So, again, this is a trial and error method. So, in this case, the first factors of the first term, isa lang, n times n, so you have n and n. Ilagay mo dyan. Okay, next, factors ng 20 class merong tatlo. So, medyo mahaba-haba yung pagpipilian natin this time. So, you have three. So, if I will ask you again, ano, if, if ikaw yung sasagot nito, uh, what factor yung una mong test? Okay, you have 20 times 1, 5 times 4, 10 times 2. Okay, if I, okay, if, I mean, if ako class, I will choose muna 5 and 4. Okay? So, you write them 4, then 5. Again, it can be written inter interchangeably. Okay? Pwedeng balibalik tad yan. Okay? Kasi, again, uh, iti-check naman natin if tama yung pagkalagay natin. So, we need a sign between these factors. So, check the last term sign. This time class, we have negative sign sa last term. Compared kanina na positive. So, anong gagawin if the last term is negative? Class, if the last term is negative, wag mo nang tingnan yung middle term na sign. Automatic. Pag last term is negative, positive and negative yan. Okay? Positive and negative yan. Walang, ano, wala nang maraming tanong-tanong. Okay? If the last term is negative. Kaso nga lang, the problem here is hindi natin alam if saan, if tama ba yung pagkaposisyon natin kay negative at positive. Okay? This is the very reason why i-verify natin yan always. So, let's check the middle term. So, how to check the middle term? You multiply the inner. So, that is negative 4 times n. That is negative 4n. Next, Multiply the outer, that is n times 5, that is positive 5n. <laughs> then, you add the result. So, that is n. Negative 4 plus 5n, unlike sign, so you subtract. So, find, get the sign of the greater value, so that makes it equal to n. So, check sa given, negative n. So, meaning, since hindi sila the same, hindi yan tama yung factors na nakuha natin. But take note class, tingnan natin. Okay? If, if you see, they have the same value n. Okay? The problem is, hindi sila the same ng sign. So if this is the case class, if yung problem is sign lang, all you have to do class is just interchange the sign. This is what I'm telling you earlier. Pag negative yung last term, automatic negative positive yan. The problem, hindi natin alam saan dapat si negative, saan dapat si positive. In this case, mali yung sign niya, meaning we will interchange the sign. So, tingnan nyo yung 4 at 5. Interchange natin. So, nagiging n plus 4 na and we have n minus 5. So, after that one, you check it again. I-check pa rin ninyo. Maybe, baka mali, mali yung assignment natin. So, you check. Sorry. So, you check. So, you have n Times 4, that is positive 4n na dapat, di ba? So, magiging positive 4n na yan. Next, you have n times negative 5, so dapat magiging negative 5n. And if you add that again, so magiging negative n na. So, you see? So, na-interchange lang natin yun. Okay? So, trial and error class. Okay? Pwedeng pagbalibalik ta rin. So, you verify the middle term negative n. So, you have negative n. So, tama na siya. 
So therefore, the factors of n squared minus, minus n minus 20 are n plus 4, n minus 5. So that is your answer. Okay? So, class, if you have a question, if there's something you have to clarify, if you, uh, you want to ask me, okay, or something related with this, class, you write, you, 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 you put your question and verification and it's a comment box, okay? So I'll try my best to answer that one. As much as possible, I can make a new set of videos para sa inyong mga inquiries or sa inyong mga tanong. Okay? So we'll have a last example class. This will be the last example. Okay? So we have x squared plus 2x minus 3. Again, the same drill. 8x squared. Unahin natin yung variable xx. Factor ng 8. We have 8 times 1 and we have 2 times 4. Okay, meron pa bang factors yung 8? Wala na. Okay, let's proceed sa last term. So, we have 3. We only have 3 times 1. Again, yung magical. Okay, kung saan natin ilalagay yung factors natin. Okay, so, we have 2 choices. 8 times 1 and 2 times 4. Okay, and don't forget, kailangan pa rin yung x. This is a trial and error method, so you can choose, you can pick anything, any any factor you want. So in my case, let's say I pick 2 and 4. Okay, I'll pick 2 and 4. So you have 2 and 4x. Next, so wala tayong ibang choice, so you have 3 and 1. So ilagay na 3 and 1. So look at the sign, we need a sign in between these factors. Okay, negative. Again, sabi natin earlier, if negative, automatic, positive and negative na yan. So, wala nang question-question dyan. Okay? Regardless of the assignment, later, i-verify natin. So, let's verify. So, check the middle term. Multiply the inner terms. So, you have 3 times 4x, that is 12x. Next, multiply the outer terms. You have 2 times 2x times negative 1, so that is negative 2x. Then add the results. Again, so that is 12x plus negative 2x, that is equal to 10x. So check if this is correct sa middle term natin. Okay, this time hindi na naman tama. Okay? Pero yung sign, tama yung sign natin, no? positive. So meaning, this is not the right factors na nakuha natin sa trial and error. Okay? So, anong gagawin natin since this is wrong? Okay. Kanina, again, from this video, this method class, pwede natin, pwede natin gamitin to, or we can use this method sa lahat ng trinomial, quadratic trinomial, the trial and error method. Okay? Again, if your module um, teach you another method, walang problema yun. Pwede pa rin. You can use that one. Okay? But as for me, you can use this one to all quadratic trinomials. Okay? Lahat ng form ng quadratic trinomials, you can use trial and error method. Okay? Thank you for watching. This is your El Maestro in the house. Okay? So, you know the drill. Okay? Pabulong naman sa mga kaklase nyo, sa mga friends nyo. You tell El Maestro's here. Thank you for watching and God bless.